I'm so torn with this review because on the one hand, I really did not like the movie. But on the other hand, you can really tell that this was Luc Besson's passion project. So let's get this review over and done with. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Now, in full disclosure, I'm not really able to give my most honest review of the film because it does in fact star my future wife, Cara Delevingne. So, I'm going to do my best to tiptoe around basically the lack of charisma that she does have with Dane DeHaan, as well as the fact that they're both basically just really missed cast. Now let's talk about some of the things that I liked. Now, I really did think that this was a beautiful looking movie with some outstanding set pieces, um, and I felt as though the world building was great, and it really did feel as though there was this tangible world with a great lore to build off, but it's riddled with such terrible dialogue that I really can't imagine anyone actually saying. You can tell that they were going for quippy and funny, but it just came across as embarrassingly bad. Now, a little backstory about this movie is that Luc Besson has been wanting to adapt this French comic for about 20 years, but the technology wasn't really up to date enough for him to be able to do it. So, after he saw Avatar, he thought, you know what, now's the time. I can finally make uh, uh, Valerian, and now that I've actually just seen the movie, I just feel really bad for him, to be completely honest. But, even more so, I feel bad for anyone who actually paid full price to see this film. To be fair, the pacing of this movie was actually pretty good. The script was filled with so many action set pieces that you're really jumping from set piece to set piece, which moved along the action and the storyline, but the dialogue of this movie is just so bad, it kind of makes me think that Tommy Wiseau was a ghostwriter uh, for all the scenes featuring our two leads, and I literally can't think of anyone except for the mentally deficient who would actually say any of the lines that they say. Other than the horrendous and embarrassingly bad dialogue in the movie, the other problems with the movie was that everything was just kind of meh. You know, the cinematography was, was actually kind of passable, but the score was uninspired and the editing was really dull and I just couldn't really see anything that justified the $180 million price tag of the production budget. Rihanna is also in this movie, but it very much is a blink and you'll miss it scene. It is featuring quite a uh, unique and original pole dancing scene, but I couldn't really see any reason as to why she got top billing for the film. To finish off this review, I'm just going to say that if you are going to see the movie, make sure that you do see it in 3D, as I really do feel like that is the way that Luc Besson meant for you to see the film. But I really wouldn't recommend paying full price to it. If you are going to watch it, or if you do have a desire to see it, make sure that you watch it on streaming or even as a rental. So have you seen Valerian? On a scale of 9 to 10, what do you think my chances of marrying Cara Delevingne are? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like this video and want to see more, please click here to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.